Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. First, I'm going in with Saddle by MAC as my transition shade. I'm just gonna buff that into the crease. And next, I'm going to be taking my Morphe 35B palette and I'm going in with that hot pink shade. And I'm gonna build this up. I'm gonna apply multiple layers of this because I want this shade to be very vibrant. Next, I'm gonna take this fuchsia color and I'm gonna apply this into the sockets of my eye. Next, I'm going into this dark purple and I'm gonna put that in the socket as well. I'm not bringing it all the way in like I brought the last color in, just basically to the middle of the socket. Next, I'm gonna take black and put that on the outer corners of my eye. Next, I'm going to take my LA Pro Girl Concealer and Warm Honey, and I'm going to use that to cut my face. And for the lid, we're going to use Max Blue Brown Pigment. So again, you just draw a line across your lash line. You flick it out, connect it at the top, and fill it in, and you're done. For foundation, I'm using my Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation and I'm going to prime my face with the NYX Primer Beast Primer Spray. Next, I'm going to set this foundation into a place using my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. Um, for concealer, I'm going to use my LA Pro Girl Concealer and Warm Honey. And for future reference, I'm pretty much going to use the same face products in every video. So it's going to always be the same routine. And... I always am going to list it down in the description box as well. So, I'm just blending it out with my Real Techniques Blending Sponge. To highlight, I'm using my LA Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Light Ivory, 
and I only put this on the bridge of my nose and under my eyes. Next, I'm gonna bake with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And if you aren't familiar with baking, basically it's just letting the powder sit on your face or like the areas that you highlighted and letting it sit there um, for a few minutes, two to five minutes, however long you like. And me personally, I love baking because I find that when I bake, nothing creases, especially under my eyes. So that's why I do it. I'm just taking any leftover shadow I had on that brush and just blending it down the sides of my nose. Some of the concealer messed it up. And to contour, I'm going to use my Black Radiance Pressed Powder in the shade Cafe. After about two to five minutes, I do dust this powder away because it's set in place, not going anywhere. So that's good. And next, I'm gonna snatch this nose. And I went a little ham with the bronzer, but it's all good because we're gonna blend it out. Make sure to always blend out your nose contour, even if it looks blended, because you never wanna walk around with two lines on the side of your nose. That is not cute. And here I'm just snatching these cheekbones. I'm gonna bake under there for a few minutes. I'm gonna dust it away. It's gonna be snatched. So smoke out the bottom lash line. I'm using that orange. And next I'm gonna go in with the hot pink and go under that. Next, I'm going into my Sleek Makeup Highlighting Palette, and I'm going to take that lavender shade. I believe the name of it is Subsolar, and I'm just going to really pack that on in my inner corners. For a highlighter, I'm using my Lorac Tantalizer, and I put this on all the high points of my face, which include my cheekbones, bridge of my nose. Cupid's bow, forehead, chin, brow bone, always in the corners of the eye. Um, and basically what this is going to do is going to make all those areas that you apply the highlight to stand out. When I say stand out, I mean like it's going to make things look more lifted. For instance, your brow bone, your brow is going to look more arch or your nose bridge. Your nose bridge is going to look like it's protruding out more basically. Now, for lips, I'm using my NYX Chestnut Lip Liner. Now this is the NYX Liquid Suede in Sandstorm. And over top of that, I'm going to put a little concealer to lighten it up. And for lip gloss, it's, a, it's just like honey lip gloss. Lip glass by MAC. And this is my favorite lip combo. Like, I wear this too often. Per usual. It's just me feeling myself. Um, this look is complete, though. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.